Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to Lifestyle. It's Deontay bringing back a brand new video. First of all, I hope you guys are having a great day. We're in a really big hurry right now. We're headed to the shop to take care of a lot of stuff today. My goal is for the next three to four minutes to just satisfy you guys and enjoy the content while you guys are bored at home dealing with this quarantine thing. Just hope you guys are staying safe and everything out there. I don't watch the news often, but I was watching a YouTube video yesterday. It just seems like over on the East Coast, especially New York, it just seems really miserable right now. But all my viewers and everything out there, I hope you guys are staying safe staying inside it just seems to be getting really real and they say the next seven days it's going to reach i think the word is apex which is the max peak of like most deaths in a day and it's already hit like 500 in one day like that's that's insane over here the subject is really hard to comprehend because the numbers are way less but it just sounds like it's really really serious and especially in the next seven days really really serious so we're thinking of you guys stay safe stay home but like i said we're headed to the shop less talking more working more doing enjoy drop a like See you later. Okay, just real quick before we go into full cinematic mode, the TL is looking absolutely beast right now. We did a spray wax last night. The new splitter kit, if you haven't seen that video, you better go check it out from Artwork Body Shop. So clean right now, can't get over it. All right, cinematics. See you soon, baby. Okay, the rear kind of slammed out. It's kind of slammed, not bad. A really nice day out, guys. I decided just to vlog the whole thing instead of turning the whole thing into a cinematic. I think it might be more entertaining, and I'm in a really good mood today. I'm loving this Mazda right now. We were able to fit all four waffles with the tires in here and two bins, and I got my food in an empty front seat. That's how I like it. I'm gonna meet Cisco there. His girl just got a new RSX um, and they want the headlights done. So I'm doing some more headlights today. And then we got the waffles behind me, which we're gonna get the Plasti Dip off today, finally. We got a skyline. My mobbing buddy. Here, guys, got the whole squad out here. Cisco, you got your ready, set, go shorts on. Remember that video? Yeah. Ooh, got the new RS6. It's Deja's car. But the headlights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can clean those up. Those are big. I know. The HID shop's closed too. It's clean though. Nice car. Quick before. What's your website called again? A website? Lifestyle restoration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're bad. All right. Alright, there's the after. There's some stuff still inside, but they cleaned up pretty good. Same on this side. Alright, Cisco. Your glasses got a little smudge. There you go. Oh. Can you see me better? Can you see I'm the one for you now? <laughs> Alright. You're welcome. Nice pickup. 
Nice. Just got done detailing my car. Well, at least the full interior. Sorry we didn't get any shots, it's a little dark. And I wanted to get it done fast, but Nace here, and she brought her sisters. Doing a second set of headlights today. These ones are pretty bad. So, let's see what we can do. Much better. Yeah, the $20 made. I wouldn't take money from you, it's from your sisters. The Mazda got its fair share of love today, just gave it a fresh wash. I wish we'd pave this whole area for a washing station, and I'd bring my TL here for the pressure washer, but nope, it's all muddy. But look at that reflection on the hood. Not bad, restoring the hood. Car's looking pretty good. And the inside, it's perfectly clean from the last couple weeks of construction. McGuire's wheel cleaner is the stuff. To the fun part the thing that actually got me out of the house this morning these bad boys right here i cleaned them up about a month ago so they're really clean right now but it's time for this plastic tip to come off and go back to gunmetal this one right here needs a repaint so we're going to repaint it too today so here's what i'm using to remove the plastic tip i got off amazon it's called dip dissolver and you guys can see half of it's gone. I never even used this stuff. I just set it inside my cabinet. I think it was laid down and apparently it wasn't sealed very good. So it got all over my cabinet and started ruining a ton of stuff in there. And I noticed it yesterday and this is why I'm using it today so I don't lose the rest of it because I don't know if this is enough. The wheel is all dry and clean. So what we're gonna do is spray this stuff on, let it sit there for about 30 seconds, a minute, uh, however long until it just starts to wipe off. Then we'll power wash it off with the pressure washer and we'll go back to gunmetal today. And not to get this stuff on your clothes, it's super strong. Look at that, coming right off in the middle right there. It's time to say goodbye to the murdered out black wheels. My battery's close to dead, but we got all four wheels in gunmetal sitting right behind me in the same spot where I painted them. Actually, I think it was that bay, but check it out. So the one that I need to respray, you guys see that right there? That's where it needs to be resprayed. So I'm gonna have to respray the whole thing. What I was saying is this one is having a really hard time getting off. It is a different kind of plastic dip than those ones. So that might be the reason why. It just started smearing everywhere, took a ton of time. But altogether, these took about an hour and a half to spray off, but they're looking really good and I really miss this color. I don't know what kind of glue to use to get these back stuck on here. If you guys wanna comment something down below and let me know what kind of glue to use. I'm still really bummed that these wheels do not fit the Mazda, but we're gonna be mounting them back on the TL tomorrow because I gotta show you guys, I'll show you guys when we get home what happened to the TL and the rear sidewall. But along with my Trump stimulus check and some headlight restoring, you might be able to save up about 2,500 for some new wheels. <laughs> Let's throw these in the car. I'll see you guys back at the house tomorrow in the morning. All right, guys, been a couple of days. I've been busy with work and it's been like two, two or three days. I don't know, I can't, I'm losing track. Everyone's losing track of what day it even is. Anyways, I got the wheel sitting right here. I spent a couple minutes wiping down with Goo Gone and getting the rest of the plastic dip off. There's a spot right here. That's the reason why I want to respray them. On this side, it looks pretty good. Actually, never mind. I think I'm gonna have to respray the whole entire thing. Here's the spray I'm gonna be using. I did some research on it, and I think this is just like the closest you can get. And I think this is the closest color to the gunmetal. So we're gonna try this stuff, and hopefully it matches really good, and they look good with the other wheels. All right. So first, I'm gonna go through with 600 grit and scuff it up so our primer sticks good. Alright, they're scuffed up pretty nice now. Now I'm gonna go through and clean it with alcohol. Now that the wheels are all clean, it's time to tape them up and get them ready for primer. Wheels all masked off. 
time for primer. See you guys at the end. Wheels are painted and looking really good. And just from the looks of it, it looks a little bit darker than the originals. Like the paint looks really nice though. I did a pretty good job. And now for the test. Here's our ultimate test to see how good of a paint match it is. Yep, it's darker. You guys can see the paint color is a little bit darker. And this slide it actually looks really darker. So no guys, this is not a paint match. Hopefully you guys can learn from me. But uh, these are gonna be going back on the TL soon. Ooh, look, we got a package today. I don't even know if this is for me or not. Let's see. Two Deontay artwork body. Hold up. We gotta see what this is. Artwork Body Shop is the one who made my full custom splitter kit. I didn't order anything extra, so I don't know why this is here. Let's open it up. And this box did not need any tape on it. Oh man, so it's packaged really nicely. I'm super, you know what? No way. Dude, these things about to go everywhere. No way. It's a diffuser. Okay, this is about to go everywhere. Oh, what? No way. They sent me a diffuser, guys. Oh, I gotta pick all these up. Oops, I'm sorry. I completely abused the letter. Okay, we can still read it though. <laughs> It says, grab your camera. <laughs> you already know I'm filming this, guys. Oh my. So I came out here to show you guys the title of this video you're watching right now. And this came in. I'm the first to test out Artwork Body Shop's diffuser for the Acura TL. So stay tuned for that. Huge thank you to them. Really just huge thank you to you guys because a lot of you guys actually wanted their splitter kit, hit me up for it, and said you used their promo code. So that means they got sales, which just helps everyone all around getting quality work. I'm gonna put this on in next video, so stay tuned for that. Now to show the title of this video, the TL needs a new look. Still really love these, and this is like my favorite design of wheels, but these are reps, and what also happened down here, so I bought them with a little bit of damage in the um, the rim right here. It bumps out a little bit. You guys see this stripe right here? So I had to pull my car out to ch charge the battery before I jumped it a couple weeks ago, and I pushed it, and this lip was just sliding across the wheel all the way around, all the way to my driveway. And that was my first time doing that. I did not know um, it would do that, but the reason why I had to push it out is because I had the nose in and I needed to charge it so I can start it and leave. And then I also noticed this little bulge coming out right here on the tire. These wheels are now for sale. Hit me up if you're local and are interested. These are really good condition. You guys see all my Instagram photos, everything. I mean, they're super good condition. This is kind of first come, first serve, but there are a couple of people that are, I'm holding it for, kind of. So um, just hit me up if you're interested, and we can work something out. 600 flat. Hopefully in the next month or so, we'll have some new boots for her. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. As you guys can see, a lot's going on in my life right now. Side hustles, car transformations. <laughs> but a lot of content's coming soon. Make sure you guys just stay tuned. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed. The wheels are officially for sale. We'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.